Please welcome the 84 Olympic gold medalist at 800 meters from Brazil, Mr. Joaquim Cluz. That guy still look great or what? Unbelievable. And the Vice President of Marketing from Avia, Mr. Ed Goldman. tried out for the basketball team up at Big Bear, and he wasn't very good. He was sort of sitting on the bench a lot. One day on his way home from practice, his dad, he asked his dad, who was a triathlete, if uh, he could get out of the car and run home. He ran 15 miles around the lake and realized he liked that a heck of a lot more than playing basketball. A couple years ago, he thought he was a 1,500 meter guy, but his coach thought he was a long distance guy. And just this year, he broke the American record at the half marathon, 59.43. Fastest ever American debut marathon in London, 208.24. And then he went off and won the U.S. Olympic marathon trials in New York City on a very hilly looped course, running 209.02. Check out a little video on Mr. Ryan Hall. Please welcome one of the nicest guys on the planet, a guy you're going to be reading about a lot, and a guy who is really one of the favorites to win the gold medal in Beijing. Please give it up for Mr. Ryan Hall. To, uh, forgive me, I couldn't accept this award on my own. My conscience wouldn't allow it. Um, my wife and I are a team, and there's no way that I would have had the year that I had if she wasn't beside me. Um, it was three months before the Olympic trials, and I was really struggling. I was training up in Mammoth Lakes with a bunch of my teammates and just kind of doing my thing up there, and um, things weren't going well. And I remember my wife was in Europe racing, uh, competing in her own uh, track season over there in Europe, and I remember talking to her on the phone a bunch of times and being like, Sarah, there's no way I'm going to make it. I'm not going to make the team, you know? And here I had this big dream to go to the Olympic Games, and I was in a position to do it. It's ranked second going in behind uh, Cleve Canucci, and um, it wasn't like I was going to make the team, and she really encouraged me a lot through that and even came home, cut her season short so she could be alongside me training, and um, there's no way I could have done it without her. So we're a team. This is our award that we're uh, accepting from you guys tonight. So thank you so much. Um, such an honor to be in this room with all these people. Um, you know, I grew up hearing about triathletes, um, Paul Newby Frazier and Mark Allen, and I actually heard Paul Newby Frazier speak um, at a triathlon, uh, a triathlon that I competed in, Big Bear Lake, in my hometown, um, when I was, I don't know, 13 or 14 years old. So it's, it's quite an honor to be here tonight, um, receiving an award. This is actually a triathlon, you know, I have such a rich heritage of endurance in my family. We did a triathlon that year where uh, my grandpa did the swim, my dad did the bike, and I had the cleanup duty on the run, and it was, it was a really fun race. Um, so I, I just, I'm so grateful to my family for passing on that heritage of endurance and what it means to keep getting up and keep putting one foot in front of the other. Um, when I think about 
what's happened this last year. I think so much of it is just because of the ability to just get back up and just get back on the horse. And uh, I definitely couldn't have done that, like I said, without my wife, without my family, without my coach. Um, you know, I, I knew getting into this sport that it's going to take sacrifice. But what I, I didn't realize the extent of was the sacrifice it was going to cost my wife and the sacrifice it was going to cost my family. And um, they've, they've been such a tremendous support crew for me. And I know that if I'm going to get a medal in Beijing, it's going to be their medal as well as mine. So thank you for this award. Thank you for um, having me tonight. It's such a pleasure to be here and experience this with you guys and be inspired by all the athletes here. Thank you. Hey, how would that be? A gold medal in Beijing for that young man. We'd love it. Yes. And Paula, he could have said he was like six or seven years old. So. <laughs>